Hey tribe, what is the vibe? <clears throat> Excuse me. Welcome back to As I Am Tarot. I'm Kay and I am here to do a reading for the collective. So that is all signs. Holy Spirit, I ask that you give me clear, concise, accurate messages for the collective. Archangel Michael, I ask that you protect me from anything that is not of the holiest white light. Anything that is not of the holiest white light, please do not allow it to come in. In Jesus' holy name we pray. Amen. Okay, guys, so we are going to start off with some tea leaf cards and see what the energies are. Okay, so we have chair empty. Someone is leaving your life. We have wishbone. A wish is granted. So maybe you wish for somebody to leave your life and your wish is coming true. Who knows? Okay. We have butterfly. A change for the better. Okay. So maybe you asked the universe and God to have someone leave or give a change, make a change in your life for the better and that entails someone leaving. Club, someone will try to make you do something against your will. And maybe that's why you want to get rid of this person, okay? All right. All right. Let's see what the cards have to say. I already shuffled, but quite possibly could have used the cards again and didn't shuffle. So let me just shuffle just in case. I got to split the cards in half to, to shuffle, guys, because I got little hands, okay? Bear with me. <laughs> Please and thank you kindly. How's everyone doing? I hope you all have a good weekend. <clears throat> okay. All right. So we're cutting to the temperance card and the ten of wands. So I feel like somebody is trying to like release some burdens. That could be a person, that could be a situation, a job, okay? Take it how it resonates. <clears throat> okay, let's see what the energy is. <clears throat> okay, we have the devil in reverse. All right. So um, I feel like some of you could be um, releasing some kind of addiction. This could be a person. This could be a codependent relationship. Um, for some of you, you might also be having some kind of breakthrough as far as what you need to do to change your life. Okay. I feel like for some of you, there has been a lot of illusions that have been burdensome, like on your mental, okay? So, yeah. Some of you could have um, asked God, asked the universe, you know, whichever thing you do um, to break a tie somewhere that maybe you felt that you were you know, bounded, bound or binded to someone. What else?
We have the Nine of Swords. I mean, the Nine of Wands, sorry. <laughs> um, that's the Wounded Warrior card. So, yeah, I feel like some of you have made a decision to release something that has been toxic for your own um, mental stability, for your own sanity, for your own peace of mind. I feel like um, some of you have been feeling like like you might have anxiety due to this situation or relationship or whatever. Yeah, I feel like you're, you're either you have already done it or you're making plans to release something because it's not bringing you anything but it's like I'm getting eight of swords energy like something's keeping you in your head yeah two of wands you're indecisive some of you um I feel like some of you know what you want to do as far as the situation is concerned but it's almost like you you kind of stuck because of feelings of commitment like I feel like you may feel like you were supposed to be with this person um or you were supposed to be in this job take it how it resonates but I feel like initially you felt like this was going to be a fulfilling thing this was going to be um this was going to be abundant this was going to be your thing basically right this is this, this was going to be the thing that brought you complete happiness and fulfillment <clears throat> but i feel like it was it it didn't and which is why you're in the nine of wands energy and that was holy spirit Yeah, Ten of Wands. I feel like you're wanting to let go of all the burdens. Um, <clears throat> I feel like, you know, you may have been, some of you could have been thinking that this was going to be an easy situation and it turned out to be something that was very burdensome, right? I feel like it was... Basically, you bit off more than you could chew with this person. But I feel like you did not feel like that in the beginning. I feel like for some of you, this person showed you something completely different in the beginning. And it turned out to be nothing but burdens. I feel like some of you with this four pentacles at the bottom are not wanting to let go or maybe this is your person not wanting to let you go take it how it resonates I feel like um, this is what you were expecting from this situation. And I feel like you didn't get that. And with the Six of Swords at the bottom, I feel like you, yeah, I feel like, yeah, see, we have the Six of Swords at the bottom. Somebody's trying to bring it things from rough waters to calmer waters you could be looking at your options because like I said the eight of swords this person has you all in your head at times <clears throat> what else
empress. So, um, I'm feeling like whoever I'm talking to, you are someone that is full of unconditional love. I feel like people look at you as beauty, as someone that's graceful, right? Someone that lives in your femininity. You could be someone that is creative, you know, um, yeah, somebody that's creative and abundant. We have the ace of wands at the bottom. So, um, for some of you, you might have a passionate new beginning coming in after some heartbreak. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see what else. <clears throat> The hanged man. Yeah. He could be dealing with a Pisces. I feel like some of you could be stuck, you know, as far as it as far as it goes for this person. But also some of you could be releasing, right? Because the hangman could also mean like to surrender. And with this devil in reverse, I feel like that's what you're doing. Um, I feel like you have been in a situation that you may have been scared or indecisive about leaving and you decided that the burdens was just too much to bear. So you leave and you go towards a committed something, right? Yeah. Uh, uh. I feel like with the three of pentacles at the bottom, some of you are looking for like-minded people, like you're looking for your soul tribe, right? The people that resonate with your soul. What else? I feel like some of you, if this is not um, a love situation. It could just be a situation where you're just now getting into a energy of, um, letting go what does not serve you mentally, emotionally, you know, not in a negative way, but like, you know, like, you know, that post that, that meme that says, um, I stopped being your friend or I stopped talking to you it wasn't personal it was spiritual that type of energy I'm feeling like you know the things that don't it's like you're almost like finding who you are right and being comfortable with whoever that is yeah so we have the six of swords that fell out with the page of pentacles so I feel like you're definitely trying to go towards what it is makes you happy. Like I just said, you, I feel like you're trying to, you could be um, trying to go back to school. You could be <clears throat> trying to um, start a new business, you know, uh, yeah, I feel like you're trying to forget about whatever this is that you're walking away from. Oh, that is burdensome and go towards something that is more is better for you on as a whole person if that makes sense okay yeah and I feel like somebody is regretful this could be you this could be you being regretful that it didn't work or this could be your person being regretful that they didn't do what they had to do and now you're moving on to victory because we have the six of wands here also okay what else
Mm. We have the justice card. So um, you could be dealing with a Libra, <clears throat> but not necessarily. But um, I feel like if you have been feeling like, excuse me, things have not been fair or balanced, it's about to be, everything is about to be balanced out. Okay. Whatever you're working on, it's going to balance everything out. Okay. <clears throat> we have the Knight of Pentacles. So I don't know. It's very possible that some of you could have someone moving towards you. Could be Taurus Virgo Capricorn. But this person is taking their time. What else? Yeah, we have the temperance card. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius. But <clears throat> I feel like the universe is conspiring to bring balance back to your life. Because those are two cards of balance right there. Okay? So I feel like God and the universe is definitely trying to... If things have been out of whack, they're trying to bring things back into whack, okay? <laughs> Some of you may need to forgive someone <clears throat> um, in order to bring balance back. You know, forgiveness is for you, not for the other person. Always keep that in mind because if you don't learn how to forgive, that's going to, um, that's just going to breed resentment within yourself. You get what I'm saying? So it's better to just forgive and let it go. Let go and let God, all that good stuff, you know, instead of just harboring feelings because you only hurting yourself when you do that. Yeah. We have the three of cups. I feel like some of you <clears throat> are getting back to the things that make you happy, the people that make you happy. Like I said, your soul tribe, okay? Some of you may be meeting new people <clears throat> that speak to your heart and soul. And some of you could be just renewing old friendships. What else? Holy Spirit. The lovers. Okay. So you could be done with a Gemini. Not necessarily, but um, yeah, I feel like you're going to have a choice to make. The lovers card is definitely about a choice in something. It does not necessarily have to be a choice in love only, but it's it's a choice that needs to be made or it's going to be made. Um. I feel like whoever this person is, if it is a choice in love, you're going to have a very deep connection with this person. I feel like you guys are going to speak each other's language. We have the moon. <clears throat> so, hmm. I feel like 
someone needs to like trust their intuition. I feel like some someone you may question your own perception and you need to not do that. Okay? I feel like some of you might even have like spiritual gifts. Okay? Yeah, but I feel like you might this person let me clarify this moon clarify the moon please because i'm feeling like you're almost it's almost like you're not gonna believe that this person is too good to be true almost seven of wands yeah <laughs> okay so i feel like like i said i feel like some of you are going to feel like when it comes to this lovers, this choice, this person, it's almost like you're going to feel like they're too good to be true. And you're going to kind of like, you know, like, give me six feet. Okay. <laughs> COVID is going on in these streets. Give me six feet. But yeah, I feel like you're going to be very guarded when it comes to this person because of what you've been through in the past. Yeah, we have the three of swords at the bottom. So whether this person in the past put you in a third party situation or just broke your heart, I feel like, or even, even if you just like, you know, it was just a, a painful separation. I feel like you're moving forward. You're going to be guarded because of it. Should you be guarded? Holy Spirit, should they be guarded? With this person? Should my viewers be guarded about this new person that is coming in? Wanting to celebrate with them? <clears throat> yeah, you might meet this person. Oh, okay. We have the Eight of Cups. So I feel like for some of you, I feel like you're going to be letting go of that mindset because, like I said, if not, you're only going to hinder your own self and you're going to block your own blessings, right? Right? So I feel like you're walking away from those negative emotions that this last situation may have put you in. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. Um, I feel like, cause money long just came on so yeah we have the star i feel like this person is going to show you that love still exists okay i feel like this person is going to represent healing for you in many ways right okay we have the queen of pentacles doesn't matter male or female energy but this person is going to nurture you, okay? This person is going to, the queen of pentacles, she takes care of everything around her, right? She's very supportive. She's just, you know, she's, she's, she's a comfort food in a person, okay? All right. So, yeah. Hours and hours is on. So, I just feel like this person is going to change your whole mindset about love because I feel like this last person mucked it up, okay? Could be um same-sex relationships as well. That's what I'm picking up.
I feel like some of you may have also spoken to this past person about your feelings and nothing ever changed. And I feel like you just got tired of it, you know, of the treatment, of their behavior. Okay, we have the Page of Cups. So, yeah, I feel like the Page of Cups represents, like, a new beginning, a new romantic beginning or a new spiritual beginning, right? So, I feel like uh, somebody could also be pregnant. But I'm picking up that this person is going to, like, this person's heart chakra is open. So, they're going to be very vocal about their feelings, in regards to you and I feel like in, in in return that's going to help you open up your heart chakra you know because I feel like some of you have your heart chakra closed because of what you've been through which is understandable what else What is going to be the outcome? What is the outcome going to be for the collective Holy Spirit? Okay, we have judgment. So, I feel like um, you're, this person is going to bring healing, okay? Like, <laughs> I feel like this person is going to offer you um, true transparency. They're going to be very open. We have the tower. Hmm. So with the tower card, I feel like this is going to be like quick. Okay. I feel like, yeah, because you know, it's here on the, the lover's card. I feel like this person is going to blindside you. I feel like you're not even going to expect to meet this person. Okay. This is just going to happen like spontaneously. Okay. What else for the outcome? What else for the outcome? Okay, the cars have finished speaking. So let's see. Um, let's see if we get character cards. No, actually, I'm gonna do some expression cards. Let's see if we can pick up on how this person 
that's coming in. Feels when they think about you. Okay. We get three cards. We get three cards about how this new person feels about the collective or is going to feel about them. We have embarrassed. <laughs> so I'm feeling like this person is going to be embarrassed by the amount of um, emotions they have for you so quickly. Like I said, like I feel like this is this is gonna happen quickly with this towel card here. They might be embarrassed to even like let you know how they feel. So for some of you, this could be someone that you already know that has not let you know how they feel about you. Let me get two more cards. Oh, oh, okay. Exhausted. <laughs> so this person could possibly be mentally exhausted, thinking about how to approach. Okay, and we have ashamed. Hmm. So I feel like I'm picking up on this past person's energy as well. Okay. Which very well means that this person could be very controlling and pushy because then nobody ask how you felt buddy okay or sis no, nobody nobody asked but you know all right let me do some archangel oracle cards before i close out okay let me get three cards please 